I spent the last seven days studying the knowledge and methods of Phil Stutz, Hollywood's greatest psychotherapist. And this information will change your life. This man has created insanely effective theories and tools to understand how to overcome the difficulty of life and understand how your mind works so we can perform at our best in our lives. One session with Phil cost between $40,000 and $75,000, but this video costs you nothing. Here's what I learned and how I applied it to my life. It feels as if human beings today are running from something in their life. We tend to chase goals and distract ourselves from things that we don't want to feel or don't want to think about. Phil Stutz says that there are three fundamental aspects of human existence that we all experience and we all try and escape from. One is uncertainty, one is pain, and what is the need for constant work? Be that internal work or external work. Those three things, nobody gets away with, from those things. Phil says that we all desire what is known as exoneration, which is a state of being where we are no longer affected by the three inevitables in our life. But exoneration is impossible. But the problem arises when we desire exoneration and then begin to feel dissatisfied with our current lives, which are arguably fantastic. We have this idea that there will come a time where we can release ourselves from our inner shackles and no longer feel uncertainty or pain and no longer need to work on ourselves. But that's a lie. It's a fantasy. It's all fiction. I'm beginning to think that I do everything I do to escape the three inevitables, to escape pain, to escape uncertainty and to escape the feeling of needing to do constant inner work on who I am. Like, so maybe I work as hard as I do and instill order in my life as much as I possibly can to avoid that discomfort of uncertainty. And maybe I have to come to the underlying truth that uncertainty will always be there. And why are we reluctant to face them? Why are we reluctant to face the reality of the human experience? Maybe future me can explain. Well, actually, I can. Imagine that you moved into your very first apartment and it's nice, good location, amazing views, great facilities, but unfortunately it's pretty expensive and the only way that you can afford to live in this apartment is if you get a roommate. Now unfortunately you cannot choose your roommate, so you're given this guy. And for the sake of argument, we're gonna call him X. Now, that may seem weird, but that will all make sense later on. X is not really a nice guy. He's negative, he doesn't look after the apartment, he's always trying to bring you down, and he doesn't like it when you strive for success or positive change, because it makes him feel bad about himself. However, you are stuck, because you can't get rid of X. Otherwise, you won't be able to afford the apartment, and you love it there, it's your new life. This apartment, is just like your mind. And the destructive forces in your life, like self-limiting beliefs, the negative voice in the head, and the part of your personality that is resistant to success, growth, or change, is what Phil Stutz calls part X. You see the link now? So it seems that we are all in an internal war with part X every single day of our lives. And maybe all the negativity, the atrocities and the suffering of human history were down to people succumbing to part X. But it's interesting because it means when you act out of alignment with your values, when you do things you regret or do things that you hate, Maybe it's not you, maybe it's part X. Maybe your true self is the best version of yourself and yet you're just hijacked by the destructive parts of your personality. But there must be some solution, some way to manage part X, some way to orient ourselves towards the good without being hijacked. I wonder what it could be. Well, Joel from the past, luckily there is a solution to part X, but it might not be how you think. During the lockdowns of 2020, I struggled with my mental health, particularly with the uncertainty of a global pandemic and my normal life routine being turned upside down. And as a response to this uncertainty, I was pretty obsessive about my productivity and my routine. But now I realize that this was just an effort to be exonerated. And as we know, exoneration isn't possible. Part X, the negative voice in my head was convincing me that I had to act in a certain way. Way, conduct myself in a certain way throughout my day to feel good enough, to feel like I had control over my life and control over my destiny. But the reason I'm telling you this is because there were many moments where this feeling was overwhelming. And I remember specifically one evening when I was really struggling mentally and me and my mum, we went for a walk and um, we sat on one of these park benches. And I remember she said to me, Joel, in life, to be strong, you don't have to be rigid. Sometimes, to be strong, we have to be fluid, like water, and the way that it flows and changes to inhabit the space around it. And like a river, 
we always end up flowing back to the ocean. And I've tried to incorporate that amazing message in the way that I approach life. I try not to be too rigid. I try to be open to change and spontaneity. And it's not easy for me because there's an innate part of me that always wants to be in control. But the thing is, rigidity makes you fragile. Life will change, things will shift, and you have to be prepared for that. And I've been reminded of this advice by studying Phil Stutz because he says the solution to part X is to accept the reality of your life and the nature of your mind. Instead of running away from the parts of our psyche that are uncomfortable, we have to lean into that discomfort. Stutz says that protecting ourselves from suffering harms our soul. And if life is suffering, as the Buddha says, then we have to be open to embrace all the parts of human experience, including the negative stuff, including the three inevitables of uncertainty, pain, and constant work, and including part X. The main thing I want you to get from this video is that life itself is inevitably difficult and there are parts of your personality that are just destructive. With the right mindset and the willingness to embrace all aspects of the human experience and accept yourself as you are, you can find real peace on the other side of that. If you found this video of value, I suggest you watch this one on psychology and how it can improve your life. You can also subscribe to my weekly newsletter down below in the description where you'll receive an article from me on psychology or personal development. But with that said, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.